Here at the Metal Museum, you can see so many different colors. Today, we're gonna to look into our collection and look at a bunch of different ways that metalsmiths add color to their work. The first thing we're gonna look at today is this piece by Sarah Perkins, and it's called Hoarfrost. This vessel uses a technique that's called enameling. Ariana, can you tell us a little bit more about that? I sure can, Dorothy. Enameling is a process where artists take fine powdered glass and dust it onto the surface of their metal. They then take that piece and put it in a kiln. The kiln gets up to 1400 degrees and that melts the powdered glass onto the surface of the metal, creating these beautiful sets of colors that we see on the work. This piece, called Hide and Seek by Helen Shirk, uses colored pencil to add color to the surface of the metal. First, artists use something abrasive like a sandblaster or sandpaper to create a rough surface on top of the metal. Then they use the colored pencils over that rough surface and all the wax goes down into those crevices that they just created. Once they're done adding color, the artist goes over their work with a clear coat just to make sure all that color stays on the surface. This piece is called Tricoid and it's by artist Cody Bush. Cody Bush made this out of cast bronze and then he added a patina onto the surface. A patina is a chemical process that causes the color of the metal itself to change. Each metal has a different patina and even rust can be used as a patina. Wow, that's amazing! There are so many lovely patinas you can see when you come and visit us at the Metal Museum. Thank you for watching our Color on Metal mini tour. We hope you learned a little bit about how artists can add creative bursts of color to their work. Stay tuned for more mini tours and we'll see you next time.